I'm David Andine, Director of Reference Designs here at Maxim Integrated. Today, I'm here with Tim Leung, Senior Business Manager for IOLINK Products at Maxim Integrated. And today we're here to show you our four IOLINK Sensor Reference Designs and our IOLINK Master Reference Design. So Tim, what do we have here? Well Dave, what we got here is pretty exciting. This is the industry's first four port IOLINK Master Reference Design. It's also known as Max Ref Des number 79. We're really excited about this reference design because we feel that it's going to help our customers really quickly evaluate and get to market quickly for IOLINK solutions. Absolutely. Tim, this four port IOLINK Master Reference Design features four of the MAX 14824 mm -hmm. IO-Link master transceivers and two efficient industrial power supplies, the MAX 17552 and the MAX 15062. As with all reference designs from Maxim, MAX Ref Des 79 comes with bill of materials, schematics, layout files, Gerber files, and firmware, all freely available on the website hardware is available for purchase and plus it looks pretty sharp on your desk I want one so Tim let's go ahead and plug in one of these designs and see how this thing works why don't we start with Max Ref Des 23 our IOLINK ambient light sensor so when we say plug and play this really demonstrates how quickly you can get an IOLINK system up and working with our reference designs so now that Tim has the reference design plugged in, I'll go to the GUI, which is provided by TE Concept, our IOLINK software stack partner. I've highlighted port 1, and I'll select the device, where I download the appropriate IODD file, or IO device description file. Once I've downloaded the IODD file, I click here on IOLINK, and communication ensues. Immediately, we see process data coming up, which gives us color counts for the light that the sensor is selecting. As Tim puts the sensor by the different circles of colored paper, we see variation in the counts. With white, we see relatively high counts. With black, we see the counts drop. As Tim moves to red, we see red are the highest counts. And as Tim moves over to green, get a little bit closer there, Tim. Mm -hmm. Perfect we see green as the highest number of counts. This reference design features our MAX 14821 IOLINK slave transceiver, which is actually featured on all of our IOLINK sensor reference designs. It also has a low power microcontroller and our MAX 44000 ambient light sensor. Why don't we take a look at another one of our reference designs, MAX Ref Des 27 our IOLINK proximity sensor. As I move over to port 3 here, where that sensor is plugged in, and I've already downloaded the IODD file, what we see here on the process data is the number of counts for the proximity of Tim's hand to the sensor. And we see those counts go up and down, as well as we see the sensor switch tripping from true to false Depending, depending on the proximity of his hand to the sensor. So Dave, I just want to add a little bit of commentary here. Um, one really cool key benefit about IOLINK is that now that you can program the sensor switch from a remote location, this means you can be up somewhere on the hierarchy on your factory floor, and you can be programming different thresholds, for instance, if you're producing different size potato bag chips, on the fly without setting an operator down onto the floor. Great point, Tim. Thank you. Awesome. The Max Ref Des 27 features our IOLINK slave transceiver, the Max 14821, as well as an efficient industrial DC to DC converter, the Max 17552, and our Max 44008 infrared proximity sensor. So, Tim, let's jump to our next reference design, Max Ref Des 42, which is our industrial IOLINK RTD temp sensor. As Tim drops the industrial RTD probe into the ice water, we see the temperature on the LCD on the reference design plummeting. 
As we go over to the graphical user interface and click on read, we see a much higher resolution value for the temperature coming in on the data for the, for the IO-Link GUI. This reference design features our IO-Link transceiver, our efficient DC to DC converter, as well as the MAX 31865 RTD to digital temperature sensor, which features accurate integrated temperature sensing along with over voltage and short circuit protection. Plus, this reference design comes in an industrial form factor with two M12 connectors, one on the side for communication and an industrialized M12 connector on the bottom for connection to an RTD probe. So Tim, let's take a look at our last reference design of the day. This is MaxRef DES 36, our 16 channel digital input IO-Link hub. And you'll notice that as Tim connects 24 volts to one of the input channels of the reference design, the LED on the board illuminates and the process data for that respective channel on the GUI changes from false to true. This reference design also features our IO-Link transceiver, our efficient DC to DC industrial power supply, and it features the MAX 31913 our eight channel digital input serializer that saves cost and space by eliminating the need for optocouplers and reducing digital communication channels down to one spy bus. So Tim, there they are. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, Maxim really strives to be the industry's premier IO-Link supplier. It is our goal to provide both ICs along with full reference designs that really help to address the entire sensor ecosystem from the master to the sensor side. And our goal, once again, is really to help our customers quickly evaluate a solution and get to market quickly with their IO-Link solutions. So thanks again, Dave, for helping to develop these reference designs. Absolutely, and thanks for joining me today. And thanks to you for watching this video. For more information on any of these reference designs, please visit our website and go to the Reference Design Center. Thanks again for joining us in the lab.